Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for this whole body workout I did when I had 20 minutes in between clients. Today I'm using a reformer tower combo unit and a mini ball, which is optional. If you're using the tower for feet and straps like I am, you'll need two long yellow springs with foot loops attached at the push through bar height on the tower. Begin with one red spring attached to your reformer and the foot bar in high position and sit with your legs over each side of the reformer. If that's uncomfortable for you, place your legs inside the well instead. You just won't be able to bring the carriage all the way in. Place your hands on the foot bar, hanging back, lift your heart to the ceiling on an inhale. Now exhale, tip your chin and look down, push far away from the bar, moving the carriage back and bend forward over your legs. Inhale, peel up the spine, hanging back off the foot bar and extend the spine. Exhale, tip your chin and curl forward, push away and stretch. Inhale, roll up the spine and arch back. Keep your right hand on the foot bar, reach your left arm underneath you and twist for thread the needle, holding on to the edge of the machine. Pull the carriage in, lift your left arm out to the side and overhead, side bend. Push the carriage away, reach underneath and twist. Pull the carriage in, lift the left arm overhead, and side stretch. One more time in each direction. Place your left hand this time on the foot bar, reach your right arm underneath you and twist, looking under your armpit. Bring that right arm overhead, side stretch to the left. Inhale, rise up, exhale, twist. Hold each stretch for as long as feels good to you. One more set. Lower your foot bar to the best height for you for footwork and be on at least three red springs, if not all five springs. Lie supine and place the ball, if you're using one, in between your knees. Heels on the foot bar. Inhale, lengthen the legs, pressing the carriage away. And then exhale, return with control and resistance. Now press halfway out and pulse, an inch out, an inch in, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale all the way to straight and exhale, return, place your arches on the bar. Press out and in five times. Now five little pulses, halfway in mid-space. 
Inhale, lengthen and exhale, return. Place your toes on the foot bar. Lengthen your legs, lower the heels under the bar, lift the heels up, then bend and come in. Inhale to lengthen, hold the breath as you drop and lift the heels. Exhale, return the carriage home. Keep your legs straight and drop and lift your heels five times. Place the ball in your hands, arms up to the sky, feet in Pilates V on the toes. Inhale as you lengthen the legs, open the right arm with the ball in hand. Exhale to return and then switch the ball to the other arm as you press out the next time. Continue to alternate. Place your heels wide on the bar with the ball in between the upper inner thighs close to the groin. Inhale to lengthen, squeezing the thighs together. Exhale, return five times. Press out halfway for five small pulses. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale to return. Lower your headrest for pelvic lift. Place the ball in between the knees. With heels or arches on the bar, sit bone distant apart. Tuck your tail and peel up into a bridge position, keeping the carriage into the bumper. Exhale, rolling down. Inhale to roll up. Squeeze the ball subtly in between your knees. Stay lifted on this fifth one and squeeze the ball five times. Then inhale, lengthen the legs, pressing the carriage away from the bumper. Exhale, return five times. Return the carriage all the way and roll the hips down. Hug your knees in to stretch your low back. Place the ball behind your right knee. It's easier if it's against skin, so I'm pulling my pant leg up. Heels on the bar. Tuck the tail and peel the hips up into a bridge position. Then lift and lower your right leg, holding the ball in place three to five times. The foot returns to the bar, roll the hips down. Switch the ball to the other leg. Press into the heels and roll the hips up. Maintain the hips in a level position in your bridge as you lift and lower your left leg, supporting that ball behind the knee. Hug the knees in to stretch. Change to two red springs or one red and one blue spring for arm work. Mm -hmm. 
lie down and the headrest can be up or down for this next exercise. Place the ball in between your knees and grab your hand loops. Lift the legs into a chair position, feet together. Press the arms down and squeeze the ball in between your knees. Inhaling to lower the arms, exhaling to lift them. Feel your arms reaching far away from you as you lower them. Open the arms into circles. Reverse the circles at the top. Remember to continue to squeeze and release the ball as you circle the arms. Or the arms for tricep presses. Bend the elbows, then squeeze the ball as you straighten your arms. the arms and open them out to the sides like snow angels. As the arms hug into the body, squeeze the ball. Turn the carriage, hang up the straps, remove the ball from your knees and stretch the legs, either dropping them side to side or letting the knees fall apart. Lift your left leg into a chair position. Place the ball in front of that knee and right elbow against the ball, hands behind your head. Lengthen the right leg over the foot bar. As you bend the right knee in, roll the ball to the right knee and switch elbows for crisscross. Try not to drop the ball. This can be done without using the ball as well. Rest down and drop your knees side to side to stretch. Come off the machine to grab your leg springs from the tower if you're using them. You should still be on two red springs or one red and one blue, which is what I'm on. Hold both foot loops in one hand and roll down to your back. Then place your feet in the straps. I should have said that you can lower your foot bar to no bar position if you're worried it will be in your way. I'm keeping mine where it is because it doesn't bother me. Lengthen your legs towards the ceiling and lower them straight down towards the foot bar, only as low as you can keep your back from arching off the mat. Lift them back up to the ceiling without lifting your tailbone off the mat. the legs and open into circles, inhaling and exhaling. Move the legs slowly to control the carriage.
Reverse your leg circles. Bend your knees into a frog position. Inhale to lengthen the legs, exhale to bend, keeping the heels glued together. Lengthen the legs, make them parallel, lift one leg up, press the other down, then switch for big scissors. Once you get into a good rhythm, the carriage should hardly move. Keep the legs apart and swivel them around for helicopter, inhaling and exhaling. Keep the feet the same distance apart as you circle them around as though you're surrounding a big exercise ball. Bend into a chair position for single leg presses. Press the right leg out and in. Keep the left knee bent at 90 degrees. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Switch legs. Make sure as the left leg extends, the right knee does not veer in towards your abdomen. The knee stays over the hip. Simultaneously alternate the legs. As one draws in, the other extends. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. Bend both knees, then extend them out towards the foot bar, keeping the legs together or apart. It's your choice. Times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way Cause I find my way The knees in and grab the straps or your ankles for a froggy stretch Cause I find my way, my way, my way Lengthen the legs to the ceiling and stretch the hamstrings Cause I find my way Remove the straps and come up and place your short box on the mat if you have one. These next exercises can be done without the short box if needed. Be on one red or one blue spring. The short box should be placed just a couple of inches from the spring side of your carriage. Sit on the box with the ball in between your knees facing the headrest. The headrest should be down so your feet can be on top of it if needed. Holding the handles, place your straight arms along the front edges of the box. Then lift the arms up and over to the back corners of the box. If you've ever done hot potato in the side lying leg series, this mimics that exercise. Keep the spine long and lifted and the shoulders away from your ears. Reach 
reach the arms out in front of you, palms face each other. Inhale, pull the arms apart using the posterior deltoid muscles and rhomboids in the upper mid back. Inhale as you open the arms, exhale to return. If these exercises seem too heavy, you can decrease the spring tension to a blue or yellow or hold on to the longer straps. Reach the arms out in front of you, palms face down. Inhale, float the arms up and open to the sky. Exhale, lower them down. Trying not to strain the neck as you lift the arms. Now lower the arms, cross the ropes, and hold on to the tape part of the rope for crack the walnut. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you draw the elbows back, hands coming towards the chest. Sit tall, abdominals tight. Remember to keep the ball squeezed in between the knees. Keeping the ropes crossed, holding the short loops if you have them, contract your deep low abdominal muscles and curl partway back. Bicep curls. Elbows stay lifted, shoulders stay low. Keep the fingers loose, palms open to avoid overusing the forearms. Turn to an upright position and remove the ball. Uncross the ropes and hold on to the short loops. Contract your deep low abdominals, curl partway back again for more bicep curls, this time with the right leg lifted into a teaser position. It's too hard to keep your leg straight. Bend the knee into a chair position while it's lifted. Which legs? Return to an upright position and hang up the straps. Turn to one side in a fourth position with the left leg on top of the box bent and turned out and the right knee down and back. Your foot bar will need to come up to a higher position than the footwork position we had it in. Left hand on the foot bar, right arm goes overhead as you side stretch. Pretend you have a pane of glass in front of you and behind you and you don't want to knock either one over, so bend straight to the side. Inhale to rise up, then rotate the chest to face the foot bar, hands wide on it. Bend down and stretch, breathing into the right lung to stretch the QL muscle. Return the carriage and we'll turn around to finish on the other side. Push away from the foot bar as you side stretch. Inhale to rise up, exhale to side bend. At the top, rotate your chest and bend down and stretch to finish. Great job, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week for a tower workout.